Hello everyone, welcome back to the latest edition of Mingnao News Report. My name is Joseph Xie. And I'm Peggy Huang. In this edition, we will show you around Mingdao to see some renovations, including the truck, the health center, the military offices, and the new Mingdao Hall under construction. We will also cover the celebration of T Teacher's Day and the opening of new track. In addition, our staff reporter will introduce a new GCP student council. After renovating most of the buildings in Mingdao, the school has decided to rebuild the Mingdao Hall that has been around since 1969. It will take roughly two years for the hall to be completed. The new hall will include all the administration offices and the classrooms for senior three students. The student invited Mingdao alumni to design the hall. There will be wider corridors that can show sunshine in the afternoon so students can reduce air conditioner usage during summer. Besides being green, the new Minda Hall will also have more open space in front for students to do various activities. Moreover, the new Minda Hall is designed to be the shape of Ru Yi, which is a traditional Chinese symbol for unwavered life. We talked with Chen Gu who is supervising the construction process. 好,那這一棟大樓呢,原則上它還是叫做明道大樓。所以這一棟大樓的建造是非常具有歷史性的意義。The so, school relocated the military office and health center to beside the assembly stage while the Mindaho is under construction. The health center, which used to be in a dark dam alley next to a food court, now takes on a refreshed look with larger rooms, new mural design, and wider windows that allow more sunshine to come in. Students could now rest in a better environment. Military office that was beside the main entrance is moved next to a health center. The military teachers now work in a wider space that is closer to most of the classrooms. Let's go to Winnie Zen to look at these two offices. I'm at school's new health center. Let's look around. Our bed at the more colorful and beautiful and looks comfortable. The walls are decorated by the colorful paintings. Mingdao embraces yet another renovation in mid-October. Students and teachers gather around the new track to see the unveiling ceremony. Junior students prepare several performances during the celebration. Principal Wang, a group of teachers, and student representatives are the first to experience the new blue track. They ring one lap at the end of the celebration. We now go to Catherine Lan, who makes some on-site reports. Hi everyone, I'm Catherine Lan, staff reporter of Mingdao Muse. Today is the first time that Mingdao students gather at the sports complex after it has been closed for three months. The original red track is now replaced by the blue one, which is built according to the official standard. To celebrate these major renovations, as you can see now, a, re a senior representative from each class is now running around the track. Today is going to be an exciting day for Mingdao. Thank you, Catherine. We now go to Sarah Lin, who takes us for a closer look at the new track. I think Mingdao did a very good investment about the sport infrastructure. I think they realized that even if it's a new track, running, still running. Playing basketball, still play basketball, but they're happy with it. Teacher's Day is one of the most important celebrations in Mindao. This year, as usual, students come up with creative ways to entertain teachers. Sabina Chain is in the scene. Hi everyone, I'm Sabina Chain, the staff reporter. And today's morning assembly is a little bit different than the other one, because today we're celebrating the Teacher's Day. And we also are welcoming the students from Raffles Institute. And as you can see now, the students are now presenting plays for the teachers. And later on, students in each class will also give gifts and flowers to their teachers to express their gratitude. We are very happy to have this opportunity and hope look forward to experiencing uh, Taiwan's rich and diverse culture. Our last story before we sign off is the new GCP student council. Grace Cho and Cindy Lan are the new chair and vice chair this year. 
after being elected in October, they have great plans for the upcoming semesters that include various sports games and holiday proms. To find, to find out more what they have in mind, join Elena Chow for an exclusive interview with Grace and Cindy. Hello, we're here with the fourth GCP Student Council President and Vice President, Grace Chen and Cindy Lam. Let's see what they have got to convey to our fellow students. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Grace. And this year, our goal is to improve the environment and facilities in GCP and also have more activities. I'm Cindy, and we are happy to be the first GDP Student Council's President and Vice President. And we will try to do our best to achieve our goals. Thank you for watching the Mingdao News Report. Stay tuned. We'll see you next time. I'm Joseph Xie. And I'm Peggy Huang. Bye bye. bye. bye.